Scotsman speeding along from Edinburgh to London. Coming up, the secrets of the detective who catches smugglers of endangered animals. And look out for a load of junk that's come all the way from Russia to start an art gallery. And the secrets of the charts. What song will be this year's Christmas number one? Oh! Oh, oh. oh not again! <sighs> not another derailment. Well, you know what this means, don't you? Yep. We're, We're on, on the, the Blue Peter Model Railway, Railway Line. line. The layout has been around since 1962 and was introduced by the programme's first presenter, Christopher Trace. Away he goes, and we'll bring another one in, a little later model. In 1973, the layout was given a facelift by Blue Peter's fifth presenter, Peter Purvis. But in fact, quite a lot of changes have taken place. Presenters came and went, but the Blue Peter layout and the hairstyles stayed the same. Along the way, Things haven't run that smoothly. Oops, <coughs> you've missed me logs. She was built in 1923 as a great Northern Railway A1 Pacific class engine. Ah, and she's come off the rails. And earlier this year was the last straw. Yeah, I think we'll be all right. Have let's go. It? Yeah, let's go. Ah, oh, well, mind. take my word for it. It's marvellous. <laughs> After that fiasco, we decided enough was enough. So here today, for the very first time, we can reveal the brand new Blue Peter train layout. And here it is. Now, our old layout was quite bare, but this new one has all the extras. There's lots of trees here and also bushes. All along this side here are some houses. And if we follow along on the corner here, there's a church. And of course, no town would be complete without its pub. And on this side, there's a more industrial site. There's some pylons here, and in the sidings here, some trains resting. Now, it's a double O gauge, like the old one, but this layout has four circuits, which means that four trains can run on it all at once, completely independently, and as you can see, they're all whizzing around now. Or if you'd rather, you can connect the tracks together and make it into two circuits with two trains on each. Now, I'm not brave enough yet to try that, so uh, you can still get all the fun of switching the points and operating the signals. Now, what I'm going to do here with this point is, as the Flying Scotsman comes around here, I've just changed the point, and we're going to move it into the sidings there, stop it there, and now reverse it out very carefully. I've been told to do this carefully. So that reverses out there, and then change the point again and make sure it's going the right way and off it goes again and also as well here the signals which operate luckily no trains crashing just yet now we know this probably isn't the layout a real model railway would use but it's much better for showing model trains on television it also has an operating turntable to keep an extra loco on ready to move out onto the tracks and now for a demonstration of this now I've got to push this down here like this Move that across there and, oh, there it goes. Move that loco onto the next track like that. Move that round again so that train can go. Now this new layout has one station and just passing through now as it comes round is the Flying Scotsman. Here it comes right on time, bringing passengers down from London to Edinburgh in the year 1930. The Flying Scotsman is a very special train as it was the first steam loco to be recorded, travelling at 100 miles per hour. You'd be pretty lucky to spot the Flying Scotsman these days, but you may well have travelled on one of these, the Intercity 225. And here it is on our layout. The 225 pulls the modern Flying Scotsman. It's an electric train, and on the top is a pantograph, which picks up the current from the overhead electric wires and feeds the power into the engine, and although we don't have overhead wires on our layout. Now, here's a very special train. This is a model of our very own 532 Blue Peter. It's an A2 Pacific, which took passengers from Edinburgh to King's Cross in the 1950s. And the reason it's stuck in the siding is because even with our spanking new layout, it's not working, which is a strange and spooky coincidence, really, because the real Blue Peter loco isn't in such good shape at the moment either. Earlier in the year, she was magnificent in steam on one of British Rail's most scenic lines, the Settle to Carlisle, which runs along the fantastic Ribblehead Viaduct. But in October, disaster struck. Blue Peter was on a pioneering first steam run on the Edinburgh to York section of the East Coast Main Line. She just crossed the Durham Viaduct when her wheels began to slip on the wet rail. She struggled to grip the track and thought that her wheels spun round at about 150 miles per hour, causing serious damage to the valve gear. 
Luckily, nobody was hurt in the accident, but it caused about £40,000 worth of damage to the loco. It will take about three months to repair her. She'll be up and running again by next Easter, which is good news. So let's hope no such disasters happen. On our new model layout, no disasters yet. Animal smugglers. So tune in at five past five and all will be revealed. I've derailed three trains down. Oh, gosh, Tim. Was it the leaves on the rail or something like that? Uh, no, I left my torch there. Oh, typical, your torch. June 1995 may not go down in history as the steamiest on record, unless that is you live in Shropshire. For the people of Bewdley, things are always fairly steamy. But that was before Diane got involved with the local railway. Hello. 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 All you have to do is turn the train on and round it goes. Sounds simple. The real thing can't be much harder, can it? Or can it? Stand well back from the platform edge as Diane gets all steamed up. This is Bewdley Railway Station, headquarters of the Seven Valley Railway, and one of the few places in Britain where you can still see working steam trains. I've ridden on steam trains before, you know, but usually in the carriages, never with the engine. But today, I've been asked to drive the 542 with a very important delivery to Bridge North, which means I've got until then to learn how to drive that. Well, at least I'm dressed for the part. Now all I have to do is learn how to drive it, so I'm just on my way for my very first lesson from my friendly driver here. OK, Brian, I'm ready for my first <laughs> lesson. What do I need to know? Hey, have a look. You look perfect, Diane. Yeah, thank perfect. You. <laughs> <laughs> Now, then, have you ever driven one of these before? I've not driven one. Well, we've got the biggest one we've got on the railway for you, Gordon, the big blue engine. Howdy, Gordon. Now, let's go and have a look in the cab and we'll show you the controls. Oh, exciting. Well, I'll put my gloves on because I've seen other train drivers do this now. No, it's very professional. <laughs> yeah, I recognise all this. Right, so the first thing we're going to look at, Diane, is the regulator, which is like the car accelerator. We move across. This is your brake. We create a vacuum to release the brakes. We partially destroy it to put it on, and we'll show you that as we're driving. This, on the left-hand side, is your reverser, the equivalent of a car gearbox. At the moment, it's in mid-gear in neutral, and this, the most important thing for warning, is the whistle. Now, the first thing I'd like you to do is to prove that you can open the regulator so we can actually move. No Take problem! Oh, <laughs> Famous last words. Oh, yeah, it's no uh, problem. Is it more? Oh, is it? Yes, please. <laughs> oh, you rigged it! And with a special modification for you, Mark 1. <laughs> Try it now. I hate having to stand in this one. So here we go. This better work. Go on, you'll chill go and straight out. There you go. Right? And you're now doing beautifully 10 miles an hour in the station limits, which is the correct speed. Do you know, just Yes, we're going backwards. But how can we tell where we're going? Head out and look right out. We were going backwards to get to Kidderminster Station, where we could fill up with water. Because we're beginning to build up speed, we've got a 25 mile an hour speed limit on the railway, oh, so we, we must keep under down 25. Right, so, so how much further down? Plenty. Everything happens slowly. It's not like a car. Just bring it down a little touch more. Actually, I'm beginning to feel that it's going a bit faster. That's all right. Oh. Yeah? Just before we go in the tunnel... Oh, one, on. two, now. about a quarter of an inch at a time as you go on, very slowly and gently. A little bit more? Just, yes, please. And again. Oh, my God. Ten. Five. So it's time definitely for water now, is it? Time for water. Yes, if you'll go and uh, fill the tender up for us, please. Well, I don't know where to go. Come and well, tell me. I'll tell you. Go and ask John. You've got to go up there. Mm. You take hold of the chain and... Heave it up. Yeah. Oh, blimey, this is heavy, isn't it? The 
there'll be a weightlifter to do this. I'll have to do some working out. Yeah, this will keep me fit. <laughs> uh, uh, there we go. <laughs> That's it. Rest the lid on the top. It might stop the bag jumping out. Yeah, I don't have any water. <laughs> so tired. <laughs> Ooh! It's really powerful. I've had to hold the um, lid down okay, a bit. I'll turn it down now. I don't fancy a shower just yet. I was having a great day learning all about steam engines, but time was flying by, and before I knew it, the clock had reached 5.40, and I had to get ready to take the 5.42 train to Bridge North. Derek, this is a very important parcel that's going with us to Bridge North. Now, if you can guide it with your life, I'm going to do my driving. See you at the other end. Bye. <laughs> We've got a green now, so it looks like we're all set. <laughs> Let them know that we're going. And now to get this regulator into action to get us moving along. Nice and slowly, guys. Wow. We're on our way. Children can't drive the engines at the Seven Valley Railway, but they can ride on the trains and fares start at two pounds. The railway is open seven days a week from May until September, with trains running every day. Now, who would have guessed that I would have actually made it to drive the 542 to take that all-important delivery to Bridge North? Well, I have, and I can't wait to get there, and I feel that I've done a really good day's work. I wonder what's in that parcel, anyway. Get that parcel. Oh, thank you very much, Derek. Here you go, sir. Oh, is, that is this the delivery? important parcel that we've is. been waiting for? Do you know, I am so nosy. I never normally do this, but could I have a little peek? Well, I, I shouldn't really, but yes. Oh, thank you, thank have you. I'm so excited. I don't believe it. If I'd known it was these two, I wouldn't have bothered.